Shaneri la 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 ma. Come on, engage with him. Oh, engage with him right now. Oh, ra ba 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 ra ba. Sikiri la 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 ma. Oh, ra ba 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 kanda ya la 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 ma. Bora 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 Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Oh, we worship you. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah! When everybody lift up our hands to Him. Father, we thank you this morning. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for giving us the privilege to come to you, giving us the privilege to enter into your presence. We thank you, Lord God, that you always open this door for us, so that we. We come closer to you. We can be able to come and not just to feel your presence, but to know how to live there, know how to interact with you, know how to communicate with you, so, so that we can be able to know what is in your heart. Oh God, this is our desire. This is the passion of our heart to know you more, to know what is in your heart, to know the intention of your heart, not just for ourselves, but for our city, for our nation, for our generation. Oh Lord, right now we lift up to you our hands, not just our hand but our heart too, our whole life, so that you can use our lives to to what your to what you have purpose for us, not just for us as individual, but but for us as a church, that we can. We can do whatever you want us to do, Lord. We thank you this morning that you've brought us this far. But we know there is more things that you want to do in our life. There are more land to conquer. There are more territory that need to take. There are more giants that we need to slay. And we know that you. Are faithful to us, that you will supply enough strength. You will supply enough provision for us, so that we can finish the race that you have begun with us. Thank you, Lord, right now, that you will not just sustain us, but you will carry us through and give us the strength to soar. Like an eagle, as you said in your word, those who wait on you will soar, will soar like an eagle. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. They will mount up with wings like an eagle. Oh Lord God, this is our, this is what you will do in our life. That we will soar with you. 
We will be higher than the storm. We will see the enemy far, far away. Because we are far above. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. And we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Please be seated this morning. Mabatawag niyong palakad-laka rin, please. Tali niyo muna. Kung, kung may tali kayo, itali niyo muna. <laughs> please be... Make sure no, nobody will sleep this morning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let's find your... Find your best place. Amen. We all settled. Okay. This morning, after five years, amen, she's not been here. Now she's here. <laughs> amen. Okay, let us welcome Pastor Alice to share God's word to us. so refreshed by the worship here. There's an echo. Alright, those of you who are in the Zoom, can you hear? Oh, we have Yes. Rachel, Rachel. Loud and clear. Can you hear Can right, you now? right now? May I have some May response? response? Okay. We can hear you. Even I think it's supposed to be endless. So can you hear? Yes. That's right. I'm here. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, all right. Clear and loud. Mm. When we were worshiping, I received this Psalm 62. Recording in progress. Verse 1 and 2. Truly my soul waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Okay. Psalm 62 verse 1 and 2 remind us that when we that when we wait for the Lord, from him comes our salvation. He is our rock. That means He's the one that stabilizes us. He is our defense. He's the one that defends us. And we will not be greatly shaken. Amen? All right. Let's, let's build on this word first. All right. I lay hold. Psalm 62. My soul will wait silently for God. From Him comes my salvation. 
salvation. He only is my rock, my salvation, my defense. I will not be shaken. I lay hold of the word of God that He will stabilize me and strengthen me. He is the one that will defend me. My soul will wait silently on Him and I will hear His voice speaking to my heart. Day by day, I will take time to wait on God and receive His word for my life for that day. Amen. This is the first time that Governing Church Ministries in Glory Sanctuary in Singapore, we are having a combined service. I believe that it is the hand of the Lord that orchestrated this. You know, I just want to share a testimony before I go. Remember the song uh, we worshipped just now? Come live in me, come take over. It actually happened yesterday at Marikina. Those of you who are there, you witness. What? You really witness the hand of the Lord. Okay, just to share with you and, uh, and those of us in Singapore. I left the house and I did not realize that I left my Bible and my notes. It's only when I reached the location, which is about one and a half hours away. At the doorstep, I looked around. Oh dear, I don't have my Bible with me. No Bible, no notes, but the Holy Spirit came and took over. And I was able to deliver God's Word for two sessions for almost three hours. It's really a miracle. <laughs> I say it's really a miracle. Yeah, I just delivered God's Word by receiving scriptures from heaven and releasing it. Receiving peace. Remember the Bible in John chapter 8? John chapter 8, Jesus says, let's turn to John chapter 8. In the book of John chapter 8, it's a very powerful scripture, John 8 verse John 8, sorry. John 8, Jesus telling the disciples, When you lift up the Son of Man, you will know that I am He. I do nothing of myself. As the Father taught me, I speak these things. That was exactly what happened yesterday afternoon. It was really amazing. And then I think there's another scripture in the Bible where Jesus also said, what I heard from the Father, I speak to the world. Yeah. You know, the presence of the Lord was so strong. And uh, God really revealed Himself. He really showed Himself faithful. I was really so thankful. This morning, the word of the Lord for all of us is move into kingly authority. Move into kingly authority all right the church must enter into a new phase of ruling and reigning with christ okay as we move towards the future uh, as we move towards the future there will be tremendous challenges that we will be facing okay individually and the church and therefore the church cannot remain as where she is now she must rise to the next level okay Rise to the next level. And what is the next level? It's kingly authority. Kingly authority. There are three areas in the Bible that tell us that. Number one, 
Scriptures reveal that number one, the church is joint heir with Christ, heir of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 16 to 17. Romans 8, 16 to 17, it says here, The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, heirs also, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ. So we are children of God, and we are also heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Jesus. So that is the foundation. We are heirs and we are fellow heirs. Right. That means to say that what, what uh, God has, you and I inherit. Okay. God is a God of strength. So if we are heir of God, joint heir, we inherit the strength of God, the strength of Jesus. Okay. Some, some example would be uh, Psalms 20. Verse 1, Psalms 29, verse 1, it says that God gives strength to His people, bless His people with peace. So through God, we receive strength. Right? And then through Jesus, we also receive strength. Remember Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So we have the inheritance of strength. From Jesus and from God. So as heir of God, we are not just um, inadequate people, but we draw our resources from heaven. That was what I did yesterday. In my heart, I said, God, I need help. So I draw on God's help. And I say, I need strength. <laughs> I draw on God's strength. God sustained me. Royal priesthood, 1 Peter 2.9. It says that we are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. So the second scripture tells us that you and I are royal priesthood. We are chosen. We are the chosen race. 1 Peter 2 verse 9. So we are chosen and we have royalty. Okay, we have royalty. What is the purpose? Is to proclaim the excellencies. Can you see that? Huh? We are believers. All right. We are believers and we have kingly authority and we are supposed to proclaim. The third scripture is, uh, one, we are called to imitate Christ, imitate God. Okay, some of us are aware. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 1, Paul says, Imitate me as I imitate Christ. Okay, imitate me as I imitate Christ. And then Paul told the Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Ephesians 5 verse 1, be imitators of God as beloved children. Okay. Ephesians 5 verse 1, so we are joined as with Christ, as of God. That's who we are. We are royal priesthood and we are called to imitate Christ and imitate God. Yeah, we are called to imitate Christ and imitate God. In what way do we imitate we imitate by speaking the word to change conditions and to change circumstances. Remember, God said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, Let there be light. And there was what? Light. So, the people of God must do the same. Let there be peace. Let there be love. Let there be understanding. Okay. Let there be no confusion in a neighborhood, in a community. Whatever that we want, believe that God wants, we speak it forth and we establish it. Got it? And then remember uh, Jesus. Together with the uh, disciples, they were on the sea and there was a storm. And what did the Bible say? In Mark chapter 4, verse 39, you can write down Mark 4, 39. Mark 4, 39, Jesus spoke to the sea. 
Be still. So again, Jesus spoke. There was a voice. Be still. So Jesus restrained the storm. So just like Jesus, you and I can restrain what the enemy tries to do. It's not impossible. That's why when we come together as a body of Christ, God will empower the church to push back forces of darkness. Okay? Push back forces of darkness. Speak and change the environment. Just about uh, three weeks ago. My mother's house, behind the backyard, there are shrubs and some trees. So there's um, mosquitoes. <laughs> and then, not only that, we realized that there are bees flying around. So I've been praying. I said, Lord, let this... Uh, Shrubs behind the backyard be cleared. And you know what? The Lord intervened. The government workers came and they knocked on the back door. Oh, we are uh, removing uh, trees and shrubs here. Does this uh, trees and shrubs belong to the house? And we said, yes. Can we remove? We said, yes. <laughs> it was removed and the whole place was so fresh and clean. But it became began with, I spoke over the environment. I said, Lord, cannot be so many mosquitoes. So every time when I go to my mother's house, I cannot sleep. <laughs> I said, I cannot sleep. The house is in the night time. There are buzzing sounds here. So you and I need to actively, I said, actively speak over our environment and arrest what is not of God. We have to arrest what is not of God. In the church too, just recently, along the corridor, there was just clutter, a lot of clutter, boxes of things for many weeks. So when I walk past, it's just before I go into my church office and all these big boxes. And every day when I walk there, I say, in the name of Jesus, let all these boxes be cleared. And it was clear now. <laughs> the whole corridor was now clear. So my co-worker was asking me, Hey, Pastor Alice, did you ask the landlady to clear? I said, no, I just declare. I said, I just declare into the Spirit. I keep proclaiming. <laughs> we need to do that. I said, we need to do that. We cannot just allow things to carry on so so there was uh, something that the Lord reminded me not to be passive huh? not to be passive so Paul imitated Christ and he urged the Corinthian believers to imitate him and he also urged the Ephesian believers to imitate God okay. God is the king of glory and he's seated at the right hand uh, Jesus is seated at the right hand of God so as joy as of Christ and as of God, you and I as the church, we must rise to our kingly authority. We must lay hold of what is saying about us, our position. So it is our position of what? Inheritance. Okay? Our position of royalty. Our jurisdictional power. Okay? Called to imitate Christ and God, it speaks about our jurisdiction. This is our authority. You and I have the authority to uh, follow Jesus and follow God in the way that they did it. Yesterday, in the afternoon, I talked about the demonstration of spirit and word. And I shared from the Bible scriptures, or rather the Holy Spirit revealed yesterday, that before God says, let that be light, it says Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, the spirit was hovering. Then God said. So there was a spirit dimension. Then the word of God came. Then there was a manifestation. That's the operational dynamic of God. Jesus did the same thing. Jesus knew that he had to raise Lazarus from the dead. That's in his spirit. 
And then, when he went to the village there, he spoke, Lazarus, come forth. So, the spirit that Jesus carried, okay. after that, the word of God, then, later on, you see, Lazarus came forth. Can you see? Three areas. Spirit must be present. Then the word is released. When the word is released, and when the word is spoken, it will change the environment. That was exactly what happened yesterday. <laughs> the whole group at Marikina, they were worshipping the Lord, strong presence of the Lord. With the strong presence of the Lord, God downloaded for almost two to three hours Bible verses into my mind and I just spoke, I spoke, I spoke. And I guided the people to speak. And as I guide, everyone felt the strength came into their spirit, man. Amen. So what is kingly authority? The function of a king is to rule. Okay? The function of a king is to rule. And the function of a priest is to present needs to God. Present the people to God. Okay? So the function of a, pre, of a king is to rule. The king represents God's authority. All right? The king represents God's authority. But the priest will come to God and represent the people to God. You know, God, I come before you. These are the people that have needs. That's priestly. So, as King Jesus uh, represents the rule and authority and the will of God from heaven to earth. Got it? As King Jesus represents what? And release the rule the authority and the will of God from heaven to earth. Okay. So, the priestly role is a role where we petition, God, I ask that you do this. I pray that you do this. That's priestly. But the kingly role is declarative, decreeing God's word and will. So, the church must move from petitioning to Decreeing. Say after me. Move from petition to decreeing. God's will. God's word. I must move to the next level. The next level is embracing my inheritance as joint heir with Jesus as heir of God as a royal priest to rule and to reign I will know how to receive the word of God from heaven and I will know how to proclaim and release God's word over people Circumstances, environment, communities, the word that God gives to me, when I speak, it releases the power of God, the life of God. When I release it, the people around me, environment around me will change. Yesterday, I led the people to speak over the environment. Let there be good roads, <laughs> clean drains. Uh, let there be uh, order. When I went to Manado, I taught them the same thing. And we saw change in the city of Manado, which is Indonesia. Went there for five years and every year without fail, I will lead them. Let's speak over the environment around you. And we spoke and spoke and spoke. And I saw changes take place. I say I saw changes take place. In the house that I lived in Tampines, I keep speaking over the environment and declare, let, let the food court be clean. 
Let there be a new coat of paint. And it heaven. <laughs> yes. Your neighborhood will never be the same. Okay. Your neighborhood will never be the same. And uh, you know, when I kept proclaiming, uh, there was one shop that I passed by. So I always, we always buy uh, bags, masks from there. So the lady said, what is your vocation? I told her, I'm a pastor. Then the next time round, when I passed by her shop, she said, hello, pastor. <laughs> I make friends with the community, with the, with the sales ladies, with the business owners in my home in Tampines. In the church, in the Shunli Industrial, uh, we make friends with those uh, stallholders who sell food. And they missed us. They say, hey, we didn't see you for so long. You went for holiday? We say, no, we went to Moa. <laughs> because we always buy food from them. We buy food from them and we relate to them and they missed our presence. That is the change that you and I can make. Huh? Alright, so what is the impact then of kingly authority? Three areas. Number one, decrees will be established. Okay. Kingly authority is to rule and to reign. What is the impact? The impact is that Decrees will be established. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Verse 22, sorry. Job 22, verse 28 says, You will decree a thing, it will be established for you. Light will shine on your ways. Can you see that? Yeah. Remember Psalms 119, verse 105. God's word is a lamb to our feet and a light to our path. So every time when you speak God's word, you are pushing away darkness. Okay. Psalms, write down. Psalms 119, verse 105. There's a song. Some of you might know the song. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You know this song? Yeah. So, speak the word because God's word is light. When there's danger around you, you just speak the word. The word of God will push away the darkness. That's why the church is a powerful church. Okay. The church brings influence and impact. The second area, the impact of kingly authority is God-given words will bring destruction and development. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. Jeremiah 1, verse 9 and 10. Okay. The second area is God-given words bring destruction and development. The verse is Jeremiah 1, verse 9 and 10. Let me read to you. Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. God told Jeremiah, I put my words in your mouth, appointed you this day over the nations, over the kingdom, to pluck up, break down, destroy, overthrow. Can you see? All these four things talk about destruction. Okay. Pluck up, break down, destroy, overthrow. So God-given words bring what? Destruction. The second aspect is to build and to plant. That means development. So the words that God gives us will bring destruction and development. God will release His words to destroy what is not of Him and also to build and to plant. That is the meaning in the Bible when we talk about learning how to repair ruins and broken cities and broken lives. All right. Speaking God's word to pull down strongholds. Speaking God's word to push away forces of darkness, resistance, blockages, hindrances, 
and speaking God's word to release the light of God and the life of God. Got it? Uh, yes. Number three, okay. the impact of this kingly authority is that God-given words will change condition and circumstances. God-given words will change condition and circumstances. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 10. Ezekiel 37 verse 10 says, So I prophesied as he commanded me, breath came into them, they came to life and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. So God is saying to you and I that he releases his words so that the church can change condition Change circumstances. God told Ezekiel, prophesy to the dead bone. Speak breath of God into the dead bone. And dead bone came alive. Right? So when God's word is being prophesied or decreed or declared, we can see here through this verse that the environment will change. Okay. Why is the environment not changing? Because the church has not risen to her authority. So this is a season that God's people in all nations must begin to rise. Rise, lay hold of the power of the cross. Move in the power of the cross. It's not just attending services every Sunday. I told the congregation in Singapore, I said, every Sunday we meet it is a download of strategies from heaven. I say every time we meet, God in heaven is downloading his strategies. His voice, his will. We are not just gathering or go through another service. No, he's releasing his strategies because God is a God of strategy. I said, God is a God of strategy. I remember last year, I preached a sermon where Jesus turned water into wine. You know that story? Okay. Jesus turned water into wine. Jesus had a strategy. Fill the water pots with water. He provided a solution, wine. So Jesus has a strategy and he provides solutions. Strategy and solutions. From that time onwards, I started seeking the Lord. I said, Lord, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I, I want to receive strategies and I want to be receiving solutions. The following few months, I delivered a series of sermons. How to become a strategic person, how to know God's strategic ways, walk in God's strategic timing, form strategic alliances. I have seen a sermon that I preached came alive. I have seen God bring strategic people back with me. And the Holy Spirit says, this is a strategic alliance. That one is another one. That one is another one. I said, wow, thank you, Lord. And when I met them, it is always in strategic timing. Because I keep proclaiming, Lord, I thank you. Just like Jesus, He walked in strategic timing. Therefore, I will also walk in strategic timing. I keep speaking and speaking and everything came alive. Everything came alive. How? Speak the word. Speak the word. So how do we move into kingly authority? So remember, there are three areas about kingly authority. Decrees will be established. The God-given words will bring what? Destruction, development. God-given words will bring, what is it? Change and uh, it will change uh, condition and uh, circumstances. So how do we move that? So, how to? Huh? This, so, I'm guiding you now. How to? The first point, we issue decrees. Issue decrees. Okay, what is decree? Decree means an edict. 
an official order. We issue declaration, declaration and announcement. We announce, we release a formal statement. We proclaim. Okay. So to move into kingly authority, we stop what? Petitioning and start issuing decrees, declaration, proclamation. Every time I tell the church in Singapore, I say we have the authority to issue restraining order. That was the phrase God gave me. Restraining order. What verse? Mark 4, 39. Jesus stopped the wind and the waves. He restrained. He pushed back. God decreed, let there be light. And there was light. Can you see? Yes. So, we issue decrees, uh, and then we issue declaration, we issue what? Proclamation. That's how we move. By issuing that. The second area that you and I need to do is, we wield the keys of kingdom authority. We shift to kingly reign. Not petitioning. So we must remember that you and I are prince and princesses of our almighty king of glory. If our father is the king, what makes us? Prince and princess. <laughs> right? Prince and princess. So, the kind of food that we eat is no ordinary food. We eat kingly food. Food that will bring strength. Food that gives us wisdom. Food that gives us authority to rule and to reign. So, the, the kind of uh, sermons that we receive is not just sermons. It's, it's kingdom food. Food that will build our strength and our spirit, man. Food that when we partake of it, we will know how to rule, know how to reign. Food that when we receive, we know how to work strategically, think strategically, form strategic alliance, walk in strategic timing. That is church. And that's how we govern. We view the keys of the kingdom authority. There are two areas of keys. Isaiah 22, 22. I will set the key of the house of David on his shoulder. When he opens to me, no one will shut. When he shuts, no one will open. So, we will. Will that means you take the word of God and you, you will. What is it? The governmental authority to shut and open. Okay. Governmental authority to shut and open. The verse, Isaiah 22, 22. So God is saying to the church, you have the authority to shut the gates of hell, open the windows of heaven. How do we open the windows of heaven? Press into deep worship. How you shut the gates of hell? Same thing. The dimension of worship and the dimension of God's word. Proclaiming the power of the name of Jesus, power of the blood, proclaiming the word of God will shut things down. Over the years, when I was in different countries, I actually operated in this without realizing Tough places that I went to. Hard ground. In some countries in Asia. I was sent to places where people were, Christians were beheaded and persecuted. Ah. I was sent to a village where it's the most notorious village in that particular nation. The pastor brought me there and I saw bullet holes. Bullet holes. 
He pointed me, these are bullet holes. When I went to some of this country, there was a riot. They destroyed the bridge. So our, our truck cannot go through. I pray in tongue. Oh, shakarame. <laughs> Within a short while, the bridge, they did something to just put planks and the truck was able to go through. I was here, 2018, right? Super typhoon. <laughs> Can you remember? Can you remember? I was in my room praying. I, the strength that God came upon me was very unusual. After that prayer, I knew God pushed back that typhoon up north. That's all I knew, up north. On the same day, somebody texted me, Pastor Ellis, there is typhoon in Hong Kong. I didn't know the Lord protected Kavite. The prayers of all of us push away up north. That's how powerful it is. That's why we fear no evil. Because Remember Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail. Okay. So how is it the gates of hell will not? It is in this area. We move into kingly authority. We issue decrees. We will the keys of kingdom uh, authority. What is kingdom authority? The governmental authority to shut and open. Isaiah 22, 22. You and I have the authority to shut down things and to open things. How? In the spirit realm. In your workplace, you can do that. In the family environment, in your community, you know, in, in the city, you and I must shut down. Okay. That is our forte. <laughs> I say that is our forte. Forte means our strength. All right. And then Matthew 16, 18, the authority to overcome the gates of hell, bind and loose. Huh? Jesus told, I say to you, you are Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church. Can you see that? Jesus says he will build his church. The gates of Hades or the gates of hell will not overpower it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. So here, God is reminding us that we must boldly voice, proclaim heaven's decree. Okay, we have to voice, proclaim heaven's decree to establish heaven's government on earth. Okay, say after me. I must voice heaven's decrees and establish heaven's government on earth. Okay. I must voice heaven's decrees, heaven's will, and establish heaven's government on earth. That's why it's time for the church to shift. We shift into the spirit dimension. I say we shift into the spirit dimension. Remember a few weeks ago, Dr. Jordan David in Moi, he spoke about demonstration of the spirit and of the word. I heard that on a Tuesday. I started praying, said, Lord, give me practical aspect, what to do. A few days later, Tuesday night, I heard this. The teaching, Saturday, I taught a group of prayer warriors. The practical aspect. How you position yourself to receive, how you build spirit dimension, then you receive the word, and as you receive, how you speak the word to establish. I was amazed. I said, Lord, I just jot down notes. But show me. Practically, it's just like 
Somebody give me, oh, this is the model of the table. But the carpenter will know how to fix this piece of wood, how to have the nail, the right nail, and hammer with the right string. Right? Like for example, this one. Then after that, you need to, what do you call that? Sandpaper. So a lot of times you're given. But the builder will need to say, I need the screws, I, I need the hammer, <laughs> I need this, so that the whole structure can come into being. It's the same thing. A lot of times we hear, but we must build. Ask God for the wisdom to build. Got it? And this morning, God is giving you and I the wisdom how to move into kingly authority. First, establish. This is our foundation. Then, what it means. What is the kind of impact? Once we know the impact, then how do we move into it? How? Issue decrees. Okay. Will the governmental authority bind and loose? Can you see that? Then things will change. That's how practically we govern in the realm of the spirit. So like I said, the church must shift. It's time for the church to shift into the next level. Next level means the kingly authority. Move from petitioning to what? Decreeing. All right. And the church will have to lay hold of the keys of authority. Shut, open, bind, loose. Got it? Release, decrease, just like Jesus. Restraining order, like God decreeing. God told Ezekiel, speak, prophesy, and things change. That's what we need to do. So the church must rise to this new season of acceleration. And the church must be positioned strategically. We must be positioned strategically. How we position strategically? We must first be positioned in the spirit realm. When we position our well, ourselves well and we know how to build well in the spirit, in the natural, it will happen. I saw that practically in my life, in my mother's house, in the church environment. I keep speaking and proclaiming. I say, no more bushes behind my mother's house, so many mosquitoes. <laughs> and the whole place was clear. The whole corridor leading to our church door was cleared of unsightly big boxes and curtains. God wants to put something inside all of us today so that you and I rise. Okay. He's saying to you and I, that He has positioned us in our workplace, in our family environment, in our community, in our city. For what purpose? Change. To bring change. Okay. Let's rise. Oh, So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide all of you to practically Practically establish all that you have been learning. Is it okay? All right. Oh, shakari yanda ravandra shakari yanda 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 ravandra shakari yanda ravan. Shoro bokari yanda ravandra shakari yanda yanda yanda. Leve kari yanda ravandra shakari. So as you pray in tongues, you are strengthening your spirit man right now. Leve he alavai ye 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 kunandra shakari yanda yanda ravan. Yeah, shake it, Rian da Ravai. Whoa, 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 she, yeah, 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 Karian da Ravan, da Ravai, shake it, Rian, 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 Rian. Vehi a la Ravai, yeah, 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 Karian da Rosh, Karian da Ravai, yeah, Karian da Ravai, a la Ravai. Whoa, 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 shake it, yeah, na ha, yeah, yeah, na ha, yeah, yeah, Karian da Ravan, da Rosh, shake it, Rian, Rian, da Ravan, da Rosh, shake it, Rian, Rian, Rian. Oh, shake it, rien, rien, da ba, 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 ba. Ye, karien, da ba, la ba, ye, 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 shake it, na ha, yeah. 
Thank you, Father. Oh, As I pray, you visualize that you are rising to the next level. Next level of authority. Oh, Rebe Kuryanda Lavaya Lavaya. Oh, shake it. Ye Kuryanda Lavaya Lavaya Lavandra Shakiri and Riandra. Leve Kuryanda Lavandra Shakiri and Riandra. Leve Kuryanda Lavandra Shakiri and Riandra and Riandra. That's right, receive. Receive in your spirit. Receive in your spirit. You are now joined air. Air of God. Join air with Christ. Royal authority. Oh, Shakarama, call to imitate Jesus. Imitate the Lord. Leve Kuryanda Ravandra Shakuryanda Ravandra Shikiri Andriande. Lobo Shekari and Riyanda Ramandra Shikiri and Riyandriande. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh Rabakara, you will receive God given words. God given words. She carry on the lavaya. Shokoro bokaramaya la maya bara 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 bara. God given us. Okay, I'm going to lead you right now to position yourself to receive. Okay, we're going to start from family. We're going to start from the family. All right. I'm sure there are areas in the family that need healing are there people who are brokenhearted in the family yes are family members having some broken areas in their life broken relationship is there don't have so we're going to speak Luke 4, 18. That was what I received just now. Luke 4, 18 says, Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted, set the captives free. All right. So this is the word of the Lord that God is giving to us. The word is Luke 4, 18. We're going to use this and speak over the family environment. That those who are brokenhearted will be healed. Those who are in captive will be delivered. All right, okay. Are you ready right now? In the name of Jesus, I decree Luke 4, verse 18, over the family, those who are brokenhearted, according to your word, let them be healed. Let them be healed. I declare the God given words. Will bring, will bring destruction and development. And development. Therefore, Therefore, God's word, God's word will, reshape will reshape the family environment. The family environment. Those, who are in captive, those who are in captive, those who need breakthrough, need breakthrough. In, the in the family, they will be delivered. They will be delivered. Broken, relationship. Broken relationship, let there be. Healing. Healing. Okay. I'm moving you to speaking. Let that be. Huh? Let that be. be. Healing. Healing. Let that be. be. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Let that be. Let be. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Among family members. Among family members. 
Brothers and sisters. Parents and children. Husbands and wives. Fathers and mothers. Let there be healing. Or broken relationship. Let there be. Love. Forgiveness. Understanding. We shape the environment. Of the family. With God's word. We proclaim. 1 Corinthians. 13. Verse 4. To verse 7. The dimension. Of God's love. The dimension. Of God's love. Be upon. The family. Dimension. Of God's love. We establish the family with God's word. According to 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Love is not provoked. Rejoice in truth. Does not rejoice in iniquity. Love bears all things. Believe all things. Hope all things. Endure all things. Let there be tolerance, patience in the family with one another. We rebuke all wrong words spoken. Okay, I'm going to rebuke right now and tear down the wrong words spoken in the home. All right. Critical words, judgmental words, abusive words. We rebuke and we tear down these strongholds in the family. We declare, let the house of the family members be delivered from anger, from frustration, fear, bitterness, resentment that resulted in wrong words. Therefore, we speak healing to the hearts of family members. Let the speech pattern change. Let the speech pattern change. Let there be words of kindness, encouragement, words of love, words of understanding, words of forgiveness in the family. We declare, let there be breakthrough in husband and wife relationship. Let there be understanding, unity between husband and wife. Let there be love of parents towards their children. Let the attitude change. Wrong attitude change in Jesus' name. We declare a change. In the family environment, a change in the relationship, all wrong behavior in the home, we rebuke in Jesus' name. We declare everyone in the family come into alignment of God's word, God's will. Let that be. Alignment, alignment to God's word, to God's will. In Jesus' name, we anchor God's word for the family. Because the Bible says in the last days, family members will come against each other. That's why we need to cover family members. There'll be broken relationship. 
Betrayal. That's what Jesus warned. So we have to guard the home front. And then Jesus warned, in the last days, many will be deceived. So we cannot fall into that category. Okay? Next area I'm going to lead you is to proclaim protection over deception. Over our lives, over those connected to us, over God's people. Okay. That those who are deceived, their eyes will be open. Got it? Oh, Shakari and Ravana, let's pray in the spirit now. We are going to rebuke the spirit of deception, all right? Oh, over God's people around us, yeah. Christians around us who are deceived, we're going to rebuke and we're going to set them free. Yes, through the word of God, all right? In the name of Jesus, we rise, lay hold of our kingly authority this day. We lay hold of God's word to pull down strongholds. We lay hold of God's word to change the condition of the spirit of God's people. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of deception and error. That hold God's people and blind them to the truth. We declare, let their eyes be open to see the truth. Blind eyes, open, deaf ears, hear. Blind eyes, open to see the truth. Deaf ears, open. To hear, God's voice. to hear God's voice, we shut down, we shut down. Every, voice every voice of the enemy, of the, enemy. The, voice of the voice of deception, temptation, temptation. We, shut we shut down, we lay hold, we lay hold. Isaiah, Isaiah 22, 22. Verse, 22. verse 22, God has given us, has given us. The, keys the keys to shut and open, shut and open. therefore, we shut, down we shut down every voice, every voice of, the of the enemy, voice of fear, voice of, fear. Voice of, confusion. Voice of confusion, voice of worry, voice of, worry. Voice of, deception. Voice of deception, voice of contamination. Voice of contamination. We, shut down. we shut down, we declare, we declare, we declare. We declare. Blind, eyes. blind eyes, blind spiritual eyes. Be open, Be open to see the truth, to see, the truth. To see, God. To see God. Deaf ears, deaf, ears. deaf spiritual ears, deaf spiritual. Open, open to hear, to hear. The, voice the voice of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. to hear the voice of God. The of God. Let, the Let the ears open. We shut down the voice of the world. We shut down the voice of men. We shut, we shut down 
the voice of wrong spirits. Voice of wrong spirits. We, decree. we decree God's people. God's people. They, are sheep. they are sheep. Therefore, Therefore they, will hear they will hear the voice of Jesus. Voice of Jesus. They, will they will hear the voice of the shepherd. The of the shepherd. In, Jesus In Jesus' name, let it be done, it be done. according to your word. Remember Mary, Luke chapter 1, verse 28. The angel told her, you will conceive. How she respond? Let it be done according to your word. So every time when you proclaim, after proclaiming, you say, let it be done according to your word. Oh, Let's pray again. Let's pray again. Yes, that's right. We're positioning ourselves right now in the spirit realm to rule and to reign, okay? Live a career under Yonder Mandra Bashiki under Yonder. We're going to call forth the next young people. Twenty years and below. Can you stand in the front? 20 years and below. Hua. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So many of you. Ten of them. Oh, We proclaim not only for Philippines, for Singapore as well, huh? Yes. Oh, So, young people, those who are adults, you watch how how God is leading us, so that you can There are 16 of them, young children and youth. Okay. The rest of the adults stretch out. Those of us in Singapore, we're going to call forth and ask for the hand of the Lord for this group of people. We're going to birth them forth in the spirit then. Uh, because they are the ones that's going to face tremendous challenges. We need to touch their lives. We need to disciple them. We need to reach out to them. Okay, those of us in Singapore, our Singapore children are very challenging to handle. But God will give us strategies to know what to do. Alright? Oh, Shekariyan Daravanda. Okay. Eh, Kariyan Daravanda, Sikiriyan Daravanda, Sikiriyan Daravanda. Oh, So I'm going to lead you all young people. Huh? I'm going to lead you young people to issue decrees. Okay? In the name of Jesus. Follow me. In the name of Jesus. Stronger. Those youngsters. In the name of Jesus. We speak, we speak God's word, God's word. Over, our over our generation. We declare, we declare. Our, generation our generation will be delivered, will be delivered. And, set free and set free to know Jesus. To know Jesus. We, declare we declare the generation, the generation in, Philippines in Philippines and Singapore. 
the Holy Spirit will deliver them and set them free. We declare young people will encounter Jesus used by God to reach out to their own friends. We declare a new breed, a new generation of children, of teenagers, of adolescents will rise with the love of Jesus, with the passion of Jesus. We will be empowered by the Holy Spirit. We will be empowered by the Holy Spirit to reach out to our generation. We declare, let there be a new rising of children, of youth from these two countries, Singapore and Philippines. Let the mighty hand of God come upon this generation. We declare the mighty hand of God will rest on this generation. Let there be a revival over the young people, children and youth. And young, uh, young adolescents, in Jesus, in Jesus' name, let there be a change. Be a change. We, declare we declare they will be set free, will be set free from, the from the influence of this world, of, this world. of, computer. of computer. We declare, we declare. Let, them let them be delivered from wrong influences. From technology, technology. we declare declare. the Holy Spirit Spirit will intervene, intervene. invade their lives, lives. and deliver them them. from the clutches clutches. of the enemy. enemy. We speak God's word, word. Psalms Psalms. 107, 107. verse 2, 2. let our generation be redeemed, be redeemed from the hand of the enemy. The enemy. Our, generation Our generation be redeemed, be redeemed from, the from the hand of the enemy. Be redeemed, be redeemed by, the by the blood of Jesus. We will arise. We will arise, we will arise. We will arise. and we will be conquerors, will be conquerors. For, Jesus for Jesus Christ. Let it be done. According to God's will will. and God's word, word. in Jesus' name, name. amen. Hi, Singapore, you hear the loud, loud voices, very inspiring. Ah, Thank you. (laughs) The little boy said, wow, wonderful. That's right, you will be like that, a fighter, a warrior. Today God wants to release strength. I'm moving you now to receive strength from the Lord. Oh, shakariyanda lavandra, shakedi yendriyanda lavai. Meditate Isaiah 40 verse 31 They that wait on the Lord Will renew their strength Yes, there's a renewal of strength this morning Some of you are very tired Because of some responsibilities During the past week, two weeks your physical body is tired. Your mind is tired. God is releasing His strength. Right or not? Renewal of strength. How many of us need that? All of us need that, right? 
Okay, let's draw from the Lord, all right? Oh, shake your hand, your hand, all the way, all the way. That's right. As you pray in tongues, draw, draw, draw the string. Receive the strength of the Lord. God is the source of your strength. Oh, Rabbi, Psalms 18:1. God is your strength. So receive. Oh, God gave strength to the weary. Receive. Oh, in Isaiah 40:29, He says He gives strength to the weary. Receive right now. Receive the strength of the Lord. Oh, yes, you will run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. Oh, shaka. Your spirit man will be strengthened with power. Your spirit man, your inner man will be strengthened. Yeah, yeah, receive right now. Receive. Yes. God is setting you free from discouragement. Tiredness, discouragement, weariness. You are delivered. New measure of strength. Receive the new measure of strength. Oh, shikari on the lava high The breath. Yes, receive the breath of God. God breathed life to Adam and he came alive. Receive the breath of life. Oh, the breath of life. The ruwak. Ruwak. Ruwak means breath. Receive. Shake your hand, love. Hiya, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, hiya, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yeah. Come alive. You are strengthened with God's word. Revived. According to His word. Revived. Oh, Shekerian Dala Vekarabai. Revived. Word of God says in Daniel 10 19, as soon as God speaks, Daniel became strengthened. So when God speaks His word, your spirit man will suddenly be strengthened. So receive Daniel 10 19. Yeah, say after me. As soon as you speak, I will be strengthened. I will be strengthened. According to your word. Psalms 119, verse 28. I will be revived. According to your word. Psalms. 119, verse 25. I will be strong in the Lord, in the power of His might. Ephesians 6.10. I will be strong in the Lord, in the power of His might. I am strengthened with all power. Colossians 1.11 I am strengthened with all power. Colossians 1.11 I am strengthened to do all things. Philippians 4.13 Philippians 4.13 I am strengthened to do all things. God is my strength. Psalms 18 verse 1 God is my strength 
Psalms 18, 18. verse 1. He gives strength to the weary. Isaiah, Isaiah. 40, 40, verse 29. Verse 29. He gives strength to the weary. When I wait on God, I renew my strength. Isaiah 40, 31. When I wait on God, I renew my strength. Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 40, 31. God will help me, strengthen me, uphold me, with his right hand. Isaiah 41 10. God will help me. Strengthen me. Uphold me. With his right hand. Therefore, I will not fear. God is with me. I will not be discouraged. He is my God. Isaiah 41 10. I will not fear. For God is with me. I will not be dismayed. Discouraged. For He is my God. He will help me. Strengthen me. Uphold me. With His righteous right hand. I anchor. Isaiah 41.10 Into my life. I build. 41.10 Isaiah 41.10 Into my life My inner man Is strengthened with power Ephesians 3.16 My inner man Will be strengthened When I pray in tongues When I pray in the spirit My inner man Will be strengthened Just like Jesus I grow strong in my, in my spirit, Luke 2, Luke two. Verse, 40. verse 40. Luke 2, Luke two. Verse, 40. verse 40. Just like Jesus, Just like Jesus. I, grow I grow strong. In the spirit, in the spirit. I, will grow strong. I will grow strong. In the spirit, 2 Timothy, Second Timothy. Two. 2, verse 1. 2 Timothy, Timothy. Two. 2, verse 1. I am, I am strong in the grace, in the grace of, the of the Lord Jesus. I am strong, I am strong in, the in the grace of the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Romans 4.20 4 I, I will grow strong in faith. In faith. I, will I will not waver in unbelief. In unbelief. I will not waver, I will not waver. In, unbelief. in unbelief. But, but I will grow strong. In my, faith. in my faith, Romans, Romans 4, 4, verse 20. Verse 20. I, will I will pray without ceasing. Therefore, Therefore I, grow I grow strong in prayer. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 5, 17. 5, 17. I pray without ceasing. I pray without Therefore, Therefore, I grow strong in prayer. prayer. Colossians 3.16 I grow, I grow strong in God's word. God's word, God's word, God's word will, enrich will enrich me. Therefore, Therefore I, grow I grow strong in God's word. In God's word. 1 Chronicles 16:11. 1 Chronicles 16:11. I seek the Lord. I seek his face. I seek his strength. Continually. Continually, 1 Chronicles 16, 11. I seek the Lord. I seek His face. I seek His strength. Continually. Therefore, I am strong in my communion with God. Amen. You have declared God's word to build strength. You have declared scriptures to be strong in faith, strong in prayer, strong in God's word, strong in the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ.
Amen. Shukariya darava karava sikiriya dhriyare. Oh, shukariya. Oh, Shakaria, Darava. Those of us Singapore, just stay on. Eh?